Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Met Tech Keyboards and today it's just a real quick video. Um, I should have introed with a sound test of this keyboard with lubed switches. Now mind you, this is one of the lubed switches, I really only don't donut dipped the spring. And you should have been able to hear a pain. Where is that panel coming from? This is, we do have a plastic plate on this keyboard, so it can't be the plate. Then it has to be the switch. There are two things that can cause pinging inside of the switch. The most common one is the spring. When you press it, it will reverberate, causing that pinging, high-pitched metallic sound. But there is another piece of metal in here that a lot of people tend to neglect, and that's the leaf spring. So even though the sound test I just shared is with lubed switches. Now granted, lubed, by that I just mean they're donut dipped. Um, it does get rid of a lot of the spring ping which exists, but it does not get rid of the, the leaf ping. And that leaf ping can very easily be corrected. And I'm gonna show you here uh, two ways to do it. So I have two lubes right here. Uh, this one is uh, Lube 3G, it's from Gazoo. It's basically like a 3203 tribosis. Um, it's much thicker, but for what I need, donut dipping and the um, leaf spring, this is fine. And this is my own mix, uh, which works as well. It is an 80% grease, 20% oil super lube mix. Um, so either one of these work for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you both ways. So if we're doing it with a brush, go ahead and take out our brush and take out our container of lube. And then for, because this, this one is not, oh, that one's done it dipped. All right, so we're gonna do this one. So we're gonna dip in here. And we wanna make sure that we don't have any on the inside of that spring hole, because that any extra in there will get into little hole and make this very annoying squish 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 sound all right so for the leaf spring and this applies to both linear and tactile switches this is not going to affect your tactility as long as you stay to the back of the leaf spring so you're just going to get the tiniest amount of grease lube and you're just going to swipe it up the back of the leaf spring see there's a the leaf spring so it's not touching anything that the legs are going to touch and you just want to see a coat on there. So once we go ahead and close this up, So that's how I do it with a paintbrush and oil, but if you're doing it with a, um, a squeeze bottle like this, this one I've already done the, um, the spring right there. Obviously you don't want to go too crazy, but I think that'll be just fine. So, and, and that's it. Um, that's all I do for the majority of switches. As far as lub lubrication goes, I found that that is sufficient. Now, some switches don't require um, the uh, this this fix, lubricating the back of the leaf spring, but I have yet to come across a switch that sounded worse or felt worse after doing it. Um, there are some switches that, I mean, just having it really up close, just on the end of the note, you can hear a little bit of metallic and that usually 
turns out to be the uh, leaf spring and just giving it something for it to stop reverberating as soon as it hits it takes care of it so i have the um sound test of this one with only the regular just the donut dip and then afterwards i'm going to have the sound test with the board with all of the switches um with all the switches properly looped like we just did here uh, with the spring leaf test. So, I, like I said, I just wanted to do a real quick video. I've been out of the loop for about a week taking care of <laughs> the huge giveaway we had on Budget Cube. So, I just wanted to make a quick video. I've got a slew of videos that I need to edit that I did get some filming time in, but I didn't have any time to edit. So, those will be coming up here in the next uh, a few days, and then I'll be back on my regular schedule. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, participated and even won something because I know we had quite a few prizes go out and we're it's going to probably take us a week to get everything organized get all the information to the vendors and vice versa so um, if you guys just give us about a week we'll have your prizes on our way so anyway um, we today we just did the real quick back of the leaf spring lube it works great for linear tactile clicky whatever type of switches as long as they have a spring leaf like that it's going to help and get rid of that ping at least i think it did for me because like i said uh i'm comparing the sound test of this one with just the spring lubed against one with the least spring lube and i think you'll be able to hear the difference and both of them are using the same switches red dragon reds that's it um and this is a Except for the keycaps, it's basically stock. Like I said, I did do the Tempest tape mod, PE foam mod. I do believe I put one layer of uh, um, zip and fit down at the bottom. I don't even think I filled it out that much. But I think, I personally think it sounded good. What do you guys think? Did it make a difference? Did lubing the back of the leaf spring bring the best out in this keyboard? I'll look for your answers in the comments below. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.